This here is Backwoods Billy. Come on, you people, dumb all be sure to click, like, subscribe to Backwoods Billy Craft Beer Reviews. You know, we do beer, we do wine, we do whiskey, um, other other flavor malt beverages, some food reviews, restaurant reviews, what's going on in Del Marvish and Shore, craft beers, macro beers, and I'm coming with a different channel soon on fitness, which I'll put a link to the different description of what it is. Check it out, for to your friends and coworkers. I got my little solar dancers, who some are like tired out because the sun is setting. Heineken, uh, which is a beer that's been around for a while, grab a Heine, politically incorrect today, grab a Heine, you may get sexual harassment suit. <laughs> you know, anyway. Heineken, it's in the beer bottle, it's green bottle, so it must, it must be skunk. And I haven't seen somebody I respect, I'm really upset that he did this, saying that he smelled sulfur, which is typical. I'm going to say what? Sulfur, unless it's a Mexican beer, is not typical. And that's only due to the fact of the yeast that's used to similar to Pac-Man, which causes that the hive basically converts more of the sugars, and it's the sulfur basically is part of the characters of the yeast that's utilized, and I know for a fact that he knows that. So that kind of upset me that he did a review like that. But anyway, he's a really good brewer. I know I'm respecting him. He's not in this area, but I figured I'd say that. Anyway, this is Heineken. It's got a pop top. I like that. It's a macro brew, God forbid. And by the way, guys, you get a craft brew. You want to have a craft brew? Look, look at that. You can see what it is and look at the cap. Brandy. It's Heineken. Right, brandy. And by the way, anytime with any beer you've got a problem, you take it back to where you purchased it, and they'll give you another beer. It's that simple. And if they won't, you can call the manufacturer. They should. If they don't, don't buy their beer. Now, what I don't like about them is it doesn't tell you the IBUs, which is 23, or the ABV on the bottle, which to me is stupid. 5% ABV, 4.5. Someone that should be where we're at. This is a 1B, which is basically a Pilsner lager. And uh, oh, it does say 5%. I stand corrected. 5% ABV. But the IBUs is not on here. Um, I like it. It's got the little logo on it. It's a green bottle. Now, they're the first ones when they did the beer that had the yeast that they utilized created a fruity note, which then became more characters of your pilsners. It was more prominent to have the fruity notes in it, but before that was just the ale. Another thing that Heineken did, now to this, you do a little bit of softening, but it's very light. You do get the fruity notes to it, aromatics. And you get the hoppiness. Now, what they're saying to this is that the ingredients in this are filtered water, malted barley, I say water, but trust me, it's filtered, uh, malted barley, and hop extract. Hop extract is not natural, guys. It's where they boil down hops. So, and so all we use is hops as an extract, which means that they boil the hops down so it's a liquid like a syrup, and they utilize the syrup about the consistency of honey to make the beer. The head didn't really stand up well, and this is probably being served today at about the right temperature just because of the fact that it's freezing out here. <laughs> and um, how could you tell? Was I turning red and blue and purple? Yeah. What's on? I got my full holiday spirits glass. It's a pale straw color. Nice lacing sticking to the glass. Medium carbonation, light medium body to this. Some bready notes, I'd say more like cracker notes to this. You have some fruity notes to this. And a slight mineral tinge to this as well. Very, very faint on the mineral tinge. It's back with Billy, one and a half thumbs up. Now, I like this beer. It's just not going to be a beer that I would personally seek out and must have. It is something that a lot of people like to drink. Um, it's considered a premium brand. It's a real, it's a good beer if you want to have it for the holidays, and that also includes coming up um, Valentine's Day, etc. Any type of celebration you're going to have in the future, New Year's. It's a good beer to have. Um, I like it. I just don't think it's something that I would have to have. Where somebody else I have to have Heineken. Um, I think there's other beers that are as good as this. What I will say is unique about Heineken is this: most. You ever seen a fermentation tank? They're vertical, meaning that they stand up. Like if you're standing, you're vertical. Horizontal mambo, you're laying down. Suggested. But anyway, they have horizontal tanks. And their theory behind this versus the vertical tanks is because the tank is horizontal, more yeast is in contact than if I have a vertical tank. Now, an ale yeast is a top fermenting yeast. A lager yeast is a bottom fermenting yeast. So it's on the bottom. 
So there's more surface area, so they do have a point that more of the yeast would be in contact with the beer. So in essence, you're going to have more of the um, yeast having an influence on the flavor. Now, yeast, when you utilize it, these companies utilize the same strands. We'll take on some of the characters of the hops and some of the characters of the malts because the yeast will actually absorb some of that, and you will have some of those characters going forward into the new beer. Um, I think it's a really good beer. Like I said, it's one and a half thumbs up. I just think it's kind of high price for the quality. Um, the back was Billy one and a half thumbs up. Uh, remember to click, like, subscribe to back was Billy Craft Beer Reviews. And Merry Christmas, Happy New Year to everybody out there. Happy holidays.